Yep. This is a question I don't think I've ever heard anybody ask you this, Dan. So this is from Moby Mike Pumpkins. And maybe you've been asked this. I just never heard you uh, heard, heard it before. But have you noticed in early season that deer go back to bed later in the morning when it's foggy? Hmm. Um, can't say I have. Yeah. I haven't noticed that. I've, I've, uh, I've noticed they're in their beds, you know, for daylight a lot in early season. Um, the only, the only, um, thing I've noticed that's put them in their beds more in daylight in early season, um, you know, coming to the beds later is when a storm hits, you know, like in the afternoon and it goes into the night, like a wicked, nasty storm, you, you know, the trees blowing over kind of thing. And then it stops sometimes like middle of the night. Well, it's like those deer get a later start and then they come back later. Hmm. And I've noticed that, uh, and I, I actually, I killed a really big eight pointer on that theory. Got him coming back to his bed in, uh, in daylight. Um, so the storms, I think, make them hold up for a while and they get into their feeding pattern and go about their, their pattern later into the night and then, uh, get back to their beds later in the morning. But, uh, as far as the fog, I haven't seen that affect them. Um, maybe there's something I'm missing that he's seeing that I haven't seen, but I've never seen a correlation there personally. How about you? Um, I can't say I have. Uh, but the Moby Mike pumpkins, he said he notices on foggy mornings, I'd catch them almost every time. I, mm. I mean, I don't, I can't, I guess I, don't, I haven't, hunt, I haven't hunted enough foggy mornings per se to, I mean, I guess to pattern it or something, I guess. I don't know. We do get some fog around here. But some, some areas you don't get much fog. Um, that's yeah, interesting. Though. We do in the bottoms here, but I don't hunt the bottoms very often. When I say the bottoms, that's a, southern indiana term it's the it's mm -hmm. the flooding areas but um yeah that's a great question uh moby mike uh guys call in uh i wasn't gonna bribe you with this but we uh dan agreed if someone would, would call in and ask a question we'd send you a uh a, a dvd i did so, yep what am i sending that's what, that's what you, you said i don't know which one you want to send I don't know. We got the new uh, Big Woods one. Uh, Big Woods one. That, yeah. Otherwise, I guess if they, you know, if they got that or whatever, I'd give one of the other ones or whatever. Yeah, that's interesting. I'm going to pay attention this year to the fog thing. Um, I don't hunt a lot of mornings in general, just because of work. I usually, um, you know, work in the mornings early and then go hunting in the evening. Because I think you do the same thing, mm -hmm. so I don't. I don't get a lot of, uh, you know, I guess morning hunts in other than on Saturdays, Saturday morning. Sometimes if I get up. You, when you were, uh, um, making my mind wander with that DVD crap. Um, I was remembering a hunt that I shot a really big eight pointer in, in a uh, foggy morning in the early season. Hmm. Yeah, that's interesting. That's something you could. I mean, that's something you guy, a guy could pay attention to because there's usually fog, you know, forecasts and stuff you can. You, you know, the, you thing, the thing with me is um, I'm always trying to reason. I want to know what, a reason why, you know, why would fog? Yeah, I wonder if it does something with scent. If it makes them uncomfortable, obviously they can't see. And then I don't know. I don't know. I would think if it slowed them down, if it got them under routine, slower or something. I don't know. Yep. I don't know, but it's an interesting concept. Yeah, great and, question. And considering I can think of a deer that I did shoot in the morning. Yeah. Fog kind of matches that. So. Mm -hmm. 